Hey guys, Dandy Dan bringing you another Ebony video. This one is on Stamina. Uh, stamina is kind of a big deal in the game. Now, today is actually a gathering event. Um, but, you know, I'm going to do a quick little gathering here. Uh, let's set up and put on a wood crystal. And I have all my presets done. That's another video you can catch. Um, so we will just occupy this thing with a group. Um, hopefully get a good lumber collecting general going here. This guy is great. See, he collects there. And he has the five-star lumber gathering armor on. Okay. So we'll pick him for that reason. And send him out with some troops. It's not kill event, so I'm not too worried about which troops I send where. Because there shouldn't be any tile hitting going on. Okay. Um, so that's done. So we'll talk about stamina. Um, so you can look up your stamina by clicking on your monarch. And clicking on the plus sign will allow you to add some stamina. And then you can also see the 81 out of 100 there. This is very important. Stamina regenerates. Can I get that to come up again? Once every 240 seconds until full resets with the server clock which is about 3 a.m. Eastern but if you're in another time zone when the server clock resets if you're at full stamina you have full stamina if you're at zero you're gonna get full stamina so one of the ways that you can try to help yourself is to be around at the server reset and burn up any stamina you have left by going after bosses or goblins or monsters or Anything so that you refill on a full run of stamina, okay? Um, so that 1 and 240 seconds is very important. That's your rate at which you get stamina. And uh, you, that's a little different for everybody. If you go into your talents, um, one of the things that happens is somewhere along the line, stamina regeneration is this number right here. Um, so if you're a little lower level, you may even accumulate it slower. It's hard to get. But one every 240 seconds is 8 minutes. And so 20 is a key stamina number because that's what it takes to go get a boss or a goblin or what have you. So with that said, um, you know, it's about 2 and 2 thirds hours. Okay, so about 2 and a half to 2 hours and 45 minutes. Okay. So that's how long it's going to take to regenerate enough natural stamina to go and make a boss run. All right. Another great way to get stamina is every monster day, it's a very good idea to buy, if you have the money, to buy the $4.99 pack. I'm not condoning paying 50 bucks for the big one or whatever, just $4.99 every week, okay? Because if you do that, you get 50 packs of 50 stamina, or 30 packs of 50 stamina. I think it's 30. Um, but it's a lot of stamina, and when I buy that pack, it's typically enough to last me all week. I don't spend much money on the game, but what I do spend, I buy that stamina pack whenever possible. Because it's the best investment for, you know, you're going to get all those speed-ups and goblins out of your, you know, stamina runs. Um, also, the 3 a.m. reset, obviously, if you're around for that, try to burn that stamina down, and you will, um, you know, get a good deal. Um, and then basically, also, you can run the wheel, so if you spin the wheel, you're able to get some stamina off of that sometimes. Not super reliable, though, but it's another way. And another big way, we have the July 4th event coming up and, you know, the kids event that we just had. Different events, when you get those little Ferris wheels or what have you, um, you can actually end up getting, usually it's a 10-pack of stamina. But if you get enough of them, they really add up. So that's a good way to get some stamina. Um, and then the other thing that some guys will do in my group here is they will actually go and... Um, buy if they have enough gems they will buy 10 packs of 50 stamina a day they're 200 gems a piece once you get past 10 on any given day it charges you 400 so you don't want to go past that but some people will just proactively buy the 10 a day 
so that they have tons and tons of stamina on hand and they never run out. If you're the type of player that runs the bounty cave all the time and you have plenty of gems, this is definitely something that you'd probably want to consider. If you don't have a lot of gems, maybe it's something you don't want to consider. Um, if you don't run a lot of gems, and usually the gems you have are spent more on bubbles, those are going to be a better investment than the stamina. If you don't have a bubble, you can't grow. Um, but if you have extra gems, it's worth spending them on stamina for sure. Okay? Um, and then... Uh, the other thing, too, is that when your stamina fills up, let's say you've been a little at, inactive for the day and your stamina is full, you're still going to accumulate stamina at the rate that you get it, which for me is about, you know, um, and you think in terms of 25 packs here because that's what it's going to give you. But if you've ever clicked on your, uh, I believe it's your tavern and it gives you 25 stamina, that's because you built up enough stamina naturally because you were offline. For me, that period of time is about 3 hours and 15 minutes. So if you're not active with the game in any given day, try to log on every like 3 to 4 hours so that you can click and get that stamina because once it fills up, it doesn't give you a second 25 pack unless you click on that and let it start building again. Okay, so that's another way that you can kind of get some 25 packs built up on your inactive days so that on your active days, you have a little bit extra stamina. Okay, so that's all I got on the stamina kick, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, keep your bubble on, and I will see you.